Hi, this is Pete Nelson with another video blog. This one is called Garbage In, Treasure Out. Who's heard that one before? Hmm, didn't think so. We've all heard the expression garbage in, garbage out. It's got its own page on Wikipedia, and those exact words were turned up over 650,000 results in a search engine, uh, over 9 million or so if I take out the quotes. So how did Garbage In and Treasure Out do? Well, it's there at least about 150 or so optimists out there somewhere. So when we're talking about advanced planning and scheduling systems, someone inevitably says garbage in, garbage out. Well, why? There are, there are some good reasons for sure. If something doesn't work right the first time, many of us don't have the patience and determination to look to the long-term benefits. The first time I used the GPS, uh, GPS, Global Positioning System to drive with, was for a long drive from Boston to DC. Uh, the stupid thing was telling me to get off at each exit on the Massachusetts Turnpike, which is nonsense. Uh, when I finally took a break near New York City, I checked the settings uh, which the manufacturer had set, and they had a setting in there that's called Avoid Toll Roads and Use Ferry Options, which were active. So, um, you know, definitely not the best way to try to drive from Boston to D.C. Uh, by taking no toll roads and trying to take ferries to get there. So, the reasons for its terrible recommendations made sense to me. I understood what the system was trying to do. Since I did take the time to figure out what the problem with my GPS was, I did make my trip. I think GPS is great and it saved it but from me driving over it uh, in frustration. Now, for an APS system, it's just as important to understand how its plans are created. The burden is on the software company to design their software so it's easy to understand and change when needed. Most of us will avoid change if at all possible, and I'm guilty of that too. I refused to get a DVR on my TV uh, because I just didn't feel like I wanted to watch that much TV. But now I can't really live without it, and I still don't watch that much TV, just the stuff that I think is important, like The Simpsons. Uh, I found value in making a change and finding a new way to improve my life in a small way, and certainly using an APS is a change from using someone's head, magnetic boards, spreadsheets for scheduling production. Again, the software company needs to help its user get results quickly and make the transition from their previous systems. With APS, I think that some people worry that their data is just not good enough to even try using a system. Even companies that do try will scrap an APS project prematurely in some cases. They might have been planning in daily buckets before APS, but if their numbers are not 100% accurate in the APS, they think that this just simply won't work for us. It's an ironic situation that practic practitioners expect perfection from an APS and not from the previous system. But I understand the negative feelings. Meanwhile, the system is showing them exactly where any major issues in their data are, and they can focus their efforts on correcting what's really important. Many successful companies have listed, in fact, that is a great side benefit of using the APS in the first place, discovering these areas where data isn't exactly perfect. I've seen Companies spend months cleaning up bills and materials, doing engineering studies, ensuring basically that everything is letter and number perfect to go forward. I would say that even if your data is perfect, it's really very unlikely that your actual execution of a plan is going to precisely match the numbers in your plan. I believe it's far more important to have the ability to recognize when a plan is not good enough or accurate enough and use that to make corrections for the next time. Correct routings and bills of materials should be useful for accounting and other purposes, so no wasted effort is really there if you want to go back and fix these things. You can focus on those few items that really need the cleaning up first. Then try using your APS, look for the next areas to improve, and most of the time, data is not truly garbage. It can reveal great rewards with a little effort. So rather than saying garbage in, garbage out, and giving up before you start, why not go in with the mindset that even garbage data can tell you something? If you'd like to leave a comment, definitely reach out to me here either on video or find me on the web. Uh, really appreciate you watching, and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.